Hello, welcome back. I hope these videos have been fun and engaging for your family. This video is for parents with young children. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a sensory tool for children using items found in your home. The first thing you'll need is an empty water bottle and you'll take the wrapper off and fill up the water bottle to about this level. Then you'll need some cooking oil, it doesn't matter what kind, some blue paint or food coloring, some rocks that you might find around your house or at the park, um, maybe some gravel. You can also use pasta found in your house or some dried beans. Then the first thing you'll do is you'll take your water bottle and put the rocks or the pasta or whatever you found inside the bottle. Once it's all in there, you'll add cooking oil basically to the top. And try not to spill. Makes these awesome little bubbles. Then you'll take your paint or your blue food dye and you'll squirt a little bit of it in there, just a few drops. Then you'll put the cap back on and you probably wanna use super glue so that this doesn't come off when the kids are playing with it because that would be a huge mess. Then you'll shake the water bottle around to mix up the dye or the paint. And there you have it. should sound like waves crashing. You could even put some little sea creatures in here if you have some little miniature toys. Sometimes kids have that for the bathtub. Um, or get creative with it. See if you can find seashells. This is a very calming activity for kids. Now that you have your ocean in a bottle, you can give this to your child to help them regulate their emotions um, and take a little break from anything that might be going on. Maybe you notice that they're fidgeting in their chair or they're kind of spinning around, jumping all around. This could be a really nice calming tool for them to focus on. You can also use ocean in a bottle to talk to children about how feelings come and go, just like waves in the ocean. So maybe they're feeling sad. Once they process the sadness, they feel happy again. Maybe if your child is going to have a timeout because of their behavior, you can offer them two choices. You can say, you're going to have a timeout to think about what happened and label what happened exactly so that they know. And you can say, you can one, have a timeout by yourself without the ocean in a bottle, or two, you can bring the ocean in a bottle with you and use it to process your feelings. Then you can let me know when you're ready to talk about it. Even though the child is still getting a timeout with both options, it gives them a choice to decide how they want that to go and to make a choice about having this opportunity to help them regulate their emotions by having something to fidget with. It's so important to offer children choices any chance that you get because it helps them build confidence and a sense of safety and control over their own life and a sense that somebody cares about their opinions and what they want. Of course, it's important that both choices are um, acceptable to you as a parent and that they are aligned with your values and safety of the child. So for example, you wouldn't say, you know, to a two-year-old, we're gonna cross the street, you can hold my hand or you can just do it by yourself. You would say, I'm going to hold your hand because I don't want you to get hit by a car and this is for your safety. I hope you've enjoyed this sensory tool activity today. If you'd like to, feel free to post in the comments how it went, um, how your child responded to it, a picture of what you came up with, or anything that is relevant to the video. Let me know if sensory processing tools and activities are something that you're interested in seeing more of in the future. I hope you have a great weekend.